Good morning, it's me, Pastor Scott, with another daily word of encouragement for today, Thursday, May 12th. Today's word comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 11 through 18. Hear the word of God this morning. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, woman, why are you crying? They've taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, woman, why are you crying? Who is it that you're looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, sir, if you've carried him away, tell me where you've put him and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news. I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. This is the Mary whom we might remember throughout the Gospels was a devoted follower of of Jesus. She loved and followed him during his earthly ministry on earth. The same Mary that Jesus had healed of infirmities and evil spirits. The same Mary that was there at the foot of the cross when he was crucified. The same Mary that was the first to see Jesus after the resurrection before he ascended the Father. The passage that we just read. She was the first to tell others that she had seen the risen Lord. All of Jesus' male disciples had betrayed, abandoned, or denied him, but not Mary. Mary's fidelity to Jesus was and is honorable and challenging and to be replicated. Mary was with Jesus to the bitter end of his life because she had experienced firsthand how deeply she was loved by Jesus. And this is why she stayed connected to him. As well as Mary knew him, she still missed him and mistook him for the gardener. Her grief kept her distracted from seeing Jesus and her joy would allow her to see him even more clearly. It wasn't just that she knew Jesus, but ultimately that Jesus knew her and called her by her name. After Jesus called her by her name, she called out Rabboni, teacher. We read in John's gospel earlier, chapter 10, verses 3 and 4, the gatekeeper opens the gate for him and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out his own, he goes out ahead of them, and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. Our faithfulness to Jesus is always a response to his faithfulness to us. Mary exemplified this. My prayer is that we will as well. Are we like Mary, perhaps distracted by our pain and disappointment? Can we recognize Jesus and hear his voice in the busyness of our lives right now? Are we following him or are we forsaking him? Are we quick to tell others about him? It's beautiful that we recognize that Mary was with Jesus in all of the most important moments in his life, but equally or even more important and beautiful is to recognize that Jesus was with her. Church, may we stick with Jesus and experience the joy of his resurrection. May our lives be heralds of the good news of Jesus. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.